So I will start now. Hello everyone. Good to have you here. Good afternoon to people that are in the same area of us and uh, good evening or good morning if you are in a different time zone. Welcome to this webinar of the European project MultiInclude. It's fantastic to have all you here and to have so many people interested in coding, in coding for inclusive education and on our project uh, Scratch for Disability. My name is Eleonora Pantò and I am the director of the Discol Association in Italy that is one of the partners of this project. Discola is a not-for-profit cultural association started in 2004 from a school network in Italy. The aim of our association is promoting the full exploitation of technology in school. The people from the association share the experience gained during their, uh, their professional activity. Uh -huh. Members are considered all the whole school, school community, like uh, students, principal, teachers, and families. And these experiences are mostly in the field of technology and intended to be a partner of public and private agencies in order to promote the use of innovative technologies for an inclusive schools. I will be your host for the next hour for this webinar, Scratch for Disability, Coding for All. Okay. The Multi-Include project stands, the name Multi-Include stands for Multiplying Evidence-Based Strategies for Inclusion. And this, as I said before, is one of the partners of this project. We worked together to detect more than 70s inclusion ideas from all around the world regarding all level of education, formal, informal, and not formal, where the, the potential to inspire other organizations. We selected mostly grassroots practices that shows the pathway to success for every student and that they have the feature to be replicable in other contexts. This project is supported by European Community in Action KA3 of the Erasmus Plus project. It is led by the Hague University, a university of applied science in Netherlands. Besides this association that I've already introduced you, the other partners are ECO, a not-for-profit organization that is an expertise center for diversity policies, ESHA, it is the European School Head Association based in Belgium and the professional organization. Vienna University Children's Office, it is a non-profit academic spin-off company owned by the University of Vienna. And the Knowledge Innovation Center, a, a consultancy focusing on brokerage of knowledge brokerage and the Malmo University. Our consortium is finalizing the, analyze, the analysis of these 70 cases that will be published soon on our, on our website. So please keep an eye on it. The analysis aims to find patterns and to create a self-evaluation tools for educational organization to help, to help them to understand if they are really pursuing uh, inclusive education. Every partner of the project choose from the, the practices the ones to highlight with videos and articles and webinars. We started our webinar series in January this year and in the end we will have seven webinars in total. At the end I will give you more details about the next webinar. But in any case, you can look at our website to have an idea of our past and future webinars. And so this is regarding a brief overview of the Multi-Include project. In this webinar, we present the Scratch for Disability project as coding is spreading in schools 
And we think that it's important to include all the students in having an active approach to the technology, also supporting the disadvantaged ones and to support them in develop their cognitive skills. Another very important aspect of the, this project was that we trained special education teachers and speech therapists in order to help them in knowing better the potential of tools like Scratch. Regarding of the process of the webinar, we will have some presentation and the question and answer session in the end. We are very interesting to hear from you. So we will ask you to participate in some polls with the help of Ivana. She is from KIC and she's the manager of activity dedicated about the exchange of ideas like this webinar. And most important <laughs> or not, she's our masters in using Zoom. So she will help us in making this experience more smoothly possible. In the, the prep session, Ivana will present our learning community and give you some specific information on about how to join us. This webinar will be recorded so you can find it on our webinar library in a few days. I will now introduce our speakers that we are honored to have here today with us. Professor Alberto Parola, psychologist from University of Torino that supported Discola in using an evidence-based approach in the project. Alberto Barbero, Professor Alberto Barbero is Vice Principal and Professor in Informatics and Adjunct Professor at University of Torino. He is the creator and the manager of the Scratch for Disability project. Professor Maria Teresa Lingua is a special education teacher in the same school of Professor Barbero. And uh, we will hear also the voice of Christian, his student. Christian will speak in Italian and uh, Professor Barbero will do the following translation. They will have around 10 minutes each and in the end we'll have a question and answer session as I've already said. I don't know if we want to launch the first uh, polls. Yes. So you can uh, please vote. Okay. Just to have uh, an idea of our um, uh, audiences. I don't know if someone is voting. It's yes. Okay. When you want, we can... A uh... few more seconds because answers are still coming. Okay. Okay. Thank you for voting. Oh, very good. So we have uh, mostly teacher who have uh, already have experience with uh, special education needs. Okay, thank you very much for this. And now I will give the floor to Professor Alberto Parola for his speech. Okay, thank you. Alberto, it's up to you. Alberto, we can't hear you. You have the microphone muted. Oh, 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 oh. Alberto, can you hear me? Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay yes. now? Yes. If you, want, you can share your video also. Okay. Okay, put it uh, in a full in a full uh, screen. 
Okay. Okay. Thank you. Can start? Very good. Yes. Uh, good afternoon to you all. I try to synthesize some aspect about uh, tech inclusion. I will not do review about uh, disability as uh, and tools. It's now my work. And uh, today I show you some uh, tracks to go to go right in my opinion in relation to some scientific references. Technologies for inclusion. Okay, uh, three level about uh, reflection, uh, uh, about uh, this uh, uh, them. First is the technology as an obstacle. Uh, the second is uh, the advantages and the limitations about uh, technology. And the uh, third, uh, the problem of uh, personalized uh, learning in uh, inclusive uh, education. The first, educational technologies uh, are neutral and don't show an uh, automatic positive effect on learning. This is a uh, uh, the first step uh, about uh, our reflection. Indeed, uh, on many occasions, technologies even become a problem because they tend to decrease learning in the classroom group. Uh, I think uh, in your experience, this is a reality, uh, but uh, in these uh, situations, we consider uh, how this, uh, uh, this is a problem uh, in the uh, education world. This seems a paradox, but uh, the meta-analysis uh, speak clearly, especially where there is uh, no clear education project shared with the students. Technologies create consequences on the mind and cognitive processes of the students and on school education, we know. Furthermore, the potential of uh, technologies depends on a large number of factors included. Uh, for example, the skills uh, of those who use them or uh, the willingness of uh, teachers to use them at the right time. And uh, the third, uh, the school organization, the context. Therefore, technology should not be placed at the center because it risks being cumbersome and uh, unproductive uh, and even harmful. Second reflection, the advantages and the limitations of technology. The arguments regarding positive technologies in particular refer to the possibility of amplifying. The first, ampl amplifying about information, content found on the web, therefore the ability to know how to find and select text in the web. Uh, amplifying about the experience, think about augmented reality and the virtual reality where immersive activity can be helpful in learning. Cognitive processes, amplifying cognitive processes, think about the mind tools to develop thought processes. The limits concern the digital skills of teachers, which must be built following the technology evolution, the fear of tools, and finally, the risk of a use that isn't suited to the educational or educational objectives. Donetti, a really famous New Zealand colleague, among the promoters of the EB. I don't know uh, if you uh, know this, uh, this uh, approach, evidence-based education. Uh, Giannetti says that the didactic elements that still work in many contexts are not directly linked to educational technology or ICT tools. This is uh, a situation particularly 
For example, verbal feedback with the class continues to be the first element of the favorite list. The inspired teacher, he says, who is willing to interact a lot with his students, so he starts and proceeds on the right foot. This doesn't mean that we have to give up technology. Third uh, problem, uh, the problem of uh, personalization in the include situation. Customizing learning means adapting the teaching to the personal motivations and inspirations of the student. Therefore, fully realizing its potential in the most appropriate way. Inclusive education means enabling all students to be welcomed into their school. They must be placed in regular classes and appropriate for age. Children need to be supported in the learning process. Furthermore, they must be allowed to contribute and participate in the every one moments of daily teaching. Okay, this is uh, a situation, ideal situation for the for the puppies uh, or, or 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 children, and uh, we um, we must to start uh, about include with this with this situation in the in the in the classroom. Unfortunately, the term inclusion is controversial. The ICF, International Classification of Functioning, prefer the term participation. And we agree. I don't know for you. The special situations are a strong drive for innovation. In fact, special teaching has always been a privileged context for conducting experiments on the didactic use of technologies. Also in the so-called normal teaching, the special situation favor normal teaching. This is a good message. So let's go straight, let's experiment and share good practices. We have uh, three questions about uh, your opinions uh, and then this is uh, my references uh, uh, for this uh, my uh, my speech uh, today thank you very much uh, poll is now open please vote for the first uh, question um, first about Yes, yes. It's, uh, what do you think about the ability of technologies to include disadvantaged students? And then uh, after we collect answer, I will share the results and then we will move to other two questions. Still collecting. Mm. Funding, no decisions. See, ah, oh, no. Mm. Mm. Selecting answers. Okay, I think that uh, the voting for the first ended. So, nine, no, it's still coming, <laughs> dropping. Okay. And here are the results. Um, Alberto, you can also comment, uh, or you can comment after we collect uh, on the other two questions as well. Yeah, yeah yes. Uh, yeah. Unexpected. <laughs> 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 it depends on our training. I, I know this is the correct uh, thing mm -hmm. about this uh, them. Okay, 
it's good for for the the, te the teachers so we have a second uh, question in progress do you believe that the teacher is able today to face the problems of inclusion uh, please vote Still collecting, answers are dropping. Okay, I will end this question and share results. Oh, okay, unexpected. <laughs> uh, mm. It's, it's good. Uh, it depends on our motivation to always learn. Uh, in the first, uh, uh, we 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 have seen, we have we have seen the, the the learning, the teacher learning. We see uh, the motivation, uh, motivation and good learning is uh, uh, in contact. And we are now launching the third question. What do you think of the evidence to improve inclusive education? Please vote. Evidence in refer to EB, uh, evidence-based education. Okay. Scientific evidence. Still collecting. Okay, ending the poll. Sharing the results. Okay, <laughs> it's good. Uh, we teach us need to acquire the search mentality. This is a big uh, uh, finality and objectives in the future, in, in, in the present and in, in the future for, for all the teachers in the world. Thank you. These were the three questions for the poll. Uh, that's all from the polling side. <laughs> okay, thank you. Eleonora. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Alberto, for your uh, insights that are not uh, so common. You, you give us many things to, to questioning and to not to believe that technology is the solution one fits all, but this is, uh, I think it's, uh, or my, it's now, we are over to this concept. And uh, I will ask you to put your question in the chat and to, and we will uh, uh, reply in the end. Uh, so now I will uh, give the floor to Alberto Barbero, who is uh, uh, the, the creator of the Sketch for Disability. Alberto Barbero, are you here? Yeah, I'm sharing my screen. Okay. Okay, put it on you also in uh, full mode. Screen Can mode. you see it? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Please go. Uh, Good afternoon to everybody. Uh, my name is Alberto Barbero and I'm a professor of informatics in a technological institute in a town called Fossano in, in Piemonte region in Italy. And um, I'm also working since a few years with the Discola Association. Uh, it's something that I really like because uh, it's uh, uh, an association that is uh, really motivating uh, teachers in the use, uh, in the proper use of technologies uh, and computer technologies in schools. Uh, 
Today I'm talking about the project Scratch for Disability Coding for All, uh, and I'm going to tell you something about the project and uh, then the experiment, uh, experimentation of the project in my institute with the help then of my colleagues, um, Maria Teresa Lingua, a special teacher, a special education teacher. Uh, as you know, uh, it's been quite a few years that uh, computer technologies are used in the, in the classroom with students with uh, disabilities. Uh, these technologies provide two valuable aids. The first is the possibility for it to compensate for some of the communicative, motor and cognitive disabilities of the students. The second concern the help that ICT brings to the cognitive development of students with disabilities by playing a role as a facilitator of learning. So as a researcher of the Visco Association, we Two years ago, we asked ourselves uh, uh, if coding uh, could be uh, helpful uh, uh, to help uh, be helpful in the learning process of students with disability. Before continuing, I would like to ask to Ivana if she can ask to the audience if they know the, the word coding, if you never heard about the word coding, and if they know what is Scratch. Can you please do the poll, Ivana? Yes. Uh -huh. And the first question. Uh, you're invited to vote. The first question, have you ever used coding in your class? Uh, answers are still, still coming in. Okay. Thank you, everyone. We are becoming faster in <laughs> collecting votes. It's fine. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Okay, I think we, we got, so I will now share the results. Okay, so 50% of the people are familiar with the term coding, but 40%, 50% didn't know what is, uh, what is coding, okay, it's fine. And the second question, please. Yes. Okay. We have the second question. Do you know Scratch and its features and do you use it? I never heard to read this before. No. Okay, we collected all the answers. I will share the results. Ah, well, uh, okay, 50% here too, okay. Uh, so, uh, if I can continue. Um, as uh, uh, researchers of the Discord Association, uh, we asked ourselves if uh, uh, coding can be helpful uh, also in the process of learning of uh, disability with kids with disability. If you don't know what is coding uh, in a very, very uh, uh, small words, coding informatics refer to computer programming. Uh, in school, it has a different meaning. Uh, coding is a new ed educational methodology that uh, uh, allows the student to improve their ability in computational thinking. Uh, in which way? By teaching them uh, the, the main concept of uh, uh, creating code or programming and creating with them interactive projects like uh, storytelling, like video games, uh, like, uh, uh, for example, animation, uh, by the use of easy and uh, friendly uh, tools like Scratch. Uh, for the ones who are not familiar with Scratch, Scratch is a visual programming language. It was developed in 2017 by the kindergarten group of the MIT uh, Massachusetts Institute of Technologies of Boston and is a very good uh, programming language uh, to develop, uh, to help develop computational thinking. Uh, instead of using uh, like a normal programming language uh, text instruction, with Scratch is possible to use uh, uh, blocks of different colors and stack them on top of, uh, on top of each other and in this way, create uh, uh, code, programming. And uh, so in an easy way, it's possible for, for kids uh, to uh, make a range of programs, animation, stories, as I told you before, musical instruments and video game. It's like 
a bit like programming equal, equal, equivalent uh, of, uh, of length. Okay. Um, as association scholar, this scholar, it's been almost 10 years we are trying to uh, bring in coding in school uh, through different projects. Uh, for, uh, two of these projects very important are the National Contest Italian Scratch Festival is a contest of uh, um, dedicated to uh, students of uh, primary school and junior high school. And uh, in this contest, we are going to reward the best uh, uh, project written in Scratch by the students. Another project very important of this scholar is called the Program on Kio. Uh, I came program two, uh, financed by the uh, Casa di Risparmio Torino Foundation. And um, with this project, uh, we uh, introduce every year around 3,500 students uh, to coding in uh, a lot of schools uh, in the Piedmont region. So, uh, as a, as, a, as a consequence of these uh, positive experiences uh, in 2017-2018, uh, the school association decided to uh, propone to start this new project called Scratch for uh, Disability and to use uh, Scratch as a programming language uh, and to, uh, because uh, it helps to simplify procedures and analysis and uh, because it, uh, in an easy way you can create a uh, uh, solution of problems. Um, what is the aim, the main object, the main goal of the Scratch for Disability project? Uh, we wanted as association to uh, train uh, special teachers, teachers working daily with uh, kids with disabilities, uh, educators and uh, speech therapists in learning uh, the main features of uh, the language Scratch. And then with them to understand how uh, Scratch can be used during their daily activities uh, with, with kids with disabilities or with special need education. And understand if uh, coding and Scratch can be really helpful in, uh, um, in this matter and uh, collecting data and analyzing progress of regresses in specific cognitive motor and sensory area. Uh, the project, as I told you before, was launched in the school year 2017-2018. And these are uh, synthesized four of the uh, main uh, uh, goals, okay? Offer free training courses to support uh, special teachers, educators, and speech therapists interested in the experimentation. Enable trainees to operate from scratch modalities through problem posing and solving activities, promote a research action, a research action project for the involvement of students with disabilities or special educational needs in the use of scratch and coding with educational and rehabilitative purposes, introduce teachers to data collection through shared research action matrices oriented to evidence-based learning. Uh, so in that period, we organized and manage 12, 13, 12, 13 free courses uh, um, in each conducted in the different provinces of the Piemonte region. Um, the, uh, more than 200 uh, special teachers, educators and speech therapists attended the 12 hour of classes and the courses basically have two uh, objectives. Provide the basic concept in the use of Scratch program and its most significant feature. And most important, start with them the exper experimentation in the use of coding with students with disabilities for the next few months. So after uh, the classes, we ask to uh, the attendees to, uh, to try to start the experiment uh, using when was possible during the daily activities with students. Uh, with disabilities or students with special need education and understand if uh, coding can be a, a new, uh, can be uh, an educational uh, methodology that can uh, help students with uh, learning problems to, uh, to do better in school. Um, during the last meeting, all the participants to the classes were asked to share their experiences 
and was a very important moment because uh, uh, was the opportunity to uh, understand in a better way if coding, in particular Scratch, can be of help uh, in teaching uh, the student with special need education in the rehabilitation uh, and uh, of disabilities. Uh, uh, also, in, in my institute, the, the Technological Institute Ballari of Fossano, with the help of the Department of uh, Support Teacher, we started the project in uh, January 2018. Uh, we decided to, uh, to teach uh, approximately 12 hours of uh, coding and mostly of scratch to uh, five students uh, with different types of intellectual disabilities and who uh, were in the time, at the time, attending different classes, uh, asking also today support teachers to follow the classes and uh, um, looking also for some of their classmates uh, to help them in this, uh, in this, in this experimentation. Uh, we introduced uh, the first classes were dedicated to introduce the Scratch platform. So we were talking about uh, uh, stage, blocks, uh, 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 sprites, uh, uh, backgrounds, uh, all the different tools you can use uh, with Scratch to create your own project. And after that, we uh, started with the help of the special teachers. And this is important, with the help of some of the classmates of the students who voluntarily decided to cooperate in this project. We um, invited the students to prepare very easy new project in Scratch, uh, starting from the one presented in the classroom, uh, related to what they were studying in that moment. Uh, uh, if, for example, if they were studying uh, geography, we asked them to create a, a simple quiz uh, about uh, with questions about the subject they were learning in that moment in, in class. They were, the teacher were explaining that moment in class. Uh, if were, if were, they were studying chemistry, for example, uh, to create a simple program related to the subject of chemistry. Uh, we didn't find uh, any particular problems uh, in the learning of the use of Scratch. About that, uh, uh, my colleague uh, Maria Teresa is going to tell uh, more things. Uh, some of the, we saw that the students were very enthusiastic. They really liked that. They really liked this new methodology in the use of the computer. And uh, they, uh, we saw that they improved their ability in the use of computer. And uh, some, some problem um, that we saw were the, some difficulties in memorizing the commands of Scratch and procedures, and uh, also to understand what was the final uh, task they were supposed to produce at the end of the project. Uh, uh, especially uh, one of the students uh, is here today, Christian is going to talk at the end of the webinar, and is a, a kid 17 years old at the time he was 15 years old really um, uh, welcome the code activities uh, enthusiastically uh, because uh, he really enjoyed uh, is he, he, he saw that uh, he could improve his skills in computers and uh, using the, using scratch as a tool and this helped him a lot in growing his his self-esteem, especially in front of his classmates. Uh, I hope I was, I was clear in my presentation about the project. If there are any questions, I'm here to, to, uh, to answer to your question. Now, I want to introduce to you uh, uh, my colleague, Maria Teresa. If you want to say something, uh, Eleonora, if you want to add something to my presentation, feel free to do that. No, I think, uh, it was uh, enough clear, I suppose, and I appreciate that you clearly explained the process. I just want to add that uh, this is one of the aim of our association. In fact, all the courses were made voluntarily by the members and they are completely free. And we find, uh, we found 
very enthusiastic professors that uh, doesn't want to stop the lesson <laughs> during the training. They want to go home. They want to continue to learn. Yeah. Especially, if I could say, the speech rehabilitators. They really were interested because they saw in Scratch uh, something that could use uh, during the uh, daily routine, daily work with the uh, kids with the speech problems. And also some, some uh, special teachers, they really like it because they could uh, uh, finally do something to customize uh, classes, you know. And, and, uh, and also they saw during experiment, experimentation a, a, a lot of interest in students in doing uh, such activities, okay. Uh, I, if I can continue, I want to introduce my colleague Maria Teresa Lingua. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to ask her uh, some questions in Italian. She prefers to speak Italian, to answer in Italian, because I feel more secure in what she's going to say. And I'm trying to, to, to um, translate in English, the, I hope the, that I can, uh, her answer. The first question is, uh, what was your task during the lesson of coding? Qual è stato il tuo compito durante le lezioni di coding? Allora, dopo la parte iniziale di individuazione degli alunni e il relativo tra i compagni di classe. It's fine, you can hear her. You can... No, not very well. Speak more near the microphone. Okay. You can speak more loudly because we can't hear you well. Okay. Dopo una prima fase di individuazione degli alunni ehm, e dei relativi tutor all'interno del, del gruppo classe, si sono effettuate le lezioni in laboratorio. Promote the project organized by the Alberto, sorry, sorry. Also, Alberto, when you speak, go near the microphone because it's not. I have to repeat the translation or not? It's clear. Yes, the whole translation because you were too far from the microphone. Okay, now I was saying that. Uh, uh, I was saying that. Uh, uh, the first task uh, when we decided to start with the project was to find uh, the students, to create a group of students that could be able to follow the classes. You know, we have in our institute, usually we have around 20, 25 disabled students at not, and coding is not for all. Okay? So uh, the first step was to select and to form the group of students that can be able to follow the classes. Okay? And once uh, she has done that, uh, uh, she was uh, um, adding to the group the, the special teachers and some student uh, not disabled as tutor uh, for the disabled students. Okay? It's clear, Eleonora? Yes. Okay. Durante le lezioni, gli insegnanti presenti hanno seguito. Durante le lezioni, gli insegnanti presenti hanno seguito le attività al personal computer eh, gli allievi mh, diversamente abili, semplificando eh, i termini e eh, le consegne che venivano loro eh, mh, effettuate dal professor Barbero, quindi rendendoli più com com comprensibili e meno difficoltose. One of the main task uh, of the one of the main task of the support teachers was to uh, uh, translate uh, what I was teaching in a way that uh, disabled students could understand better, you know, uh, they were because uh, they, they know uh, how um, they are working with them every day, so they know uh, which uh, terminology they can understand. And sometimes uh, the, the terminology used in, uh, in coding, in programming, with the programming language is most too difficult for them. So one of the main, main tasks was them to uh, follow them in uh, the computer and translating uh, to them in a way they could understand better. I comandi trattati sono poi stati um, rielaborati ed approfonditi individualmente eh, applicandoli alle varie discipline. Then she said that uh, uh, after the first classes uh, where we were teaching Scratch, uh, 
um, the task was to uh, apply uh, the, um, the, the, the all the all the instruction of Scratch, all the things they've learned to the uh, daily activities in the classroom, to the different disciplines they were studying. Uh, so to make a connection between coding and what they were studying in the classroom. Okay. The second question is uh, this one. According to your opinion, how did you see the involvement of the disabled students during classes? Secondo la tua opinione, come è stato il coinvolgimento degli studenti diversamente abili durante il corso? Situazione degli alunni diversamente abili, l'attività di gruppo ristretto nell'utilizzo del del coding è stato molto utile nello studio delle varie discipline. He said that uh, uh, the students working together as a group uh, was very, very, very good because uh, uh, they could reach better results working together as a group of peers. Okay. Questo nuovo metodo di apprendimento attraverso appunto il linguaggio di coding um, è stato visto uh, come un gioco um, finalizzato allo studio. Sometimes for the students, for the disabled students, the use of Scratch was seen as a game, you know, to play a new game, okay? But uh, uh, with the support of the special teachers, uh, they, they were not only playing, but they were studying, they were applying the, the, the instruction of, of Scratch to the different subjects they were studying in that moment. Quindi praticamente un metodo di studio eh, diverso e divertente, quindi facile anche da imparare. Uh, an, an easy way to, uh, a, new, a new educational methodology, uh, fun for them and uh, also easy for them to learn. I will, I will add uh, in, some, in some boundaries, okay, because, you know, uh, it's important to also to... Uh, say that uh, uh, we didn't try to teach very difficult uh, uh, concept of, log of logic programming, okay? But uh, for the things we have taught to them, they, they did very good. Ovviamente ci sono state delle difficoltà, eh, soprattutto per quanto riguarda i ragazzi dislessici e disgrafici, eh, dove ehm, ciò che si dovrebbe scrivere non sempre corrisponde a ciò che si vorrebbe scrivere. Say that uh, um, students with the dyslexic problems and this graphic uh, problem, uh, they found uh, uh, they had difficulties because uh, not always what they wanted to do was uh, what they were writing with the code, you know. So there was this, uh, uh, this problem to try to uh, make them uh, translate what they were thinking in something that was correct for the code. Inoltre, ehm, le difficoltà di memorizzazione dei comandi e di logica eh, nell'utilizzo del coding sono spesso un limite eh, per, per l'apprendimento del, del coding stesso. As I told you before, there were problems with memorizing the set of instruction and to understand all the procedure and also I will, I will add also uh, long time sometimes to finish a project, you know, they need Okay, the last question to uh, uh, Maria Teresa. According to your opinion, did you see any improvements in the process of education through the use of coding? Secondo la tua, la tua opinione, ci sono visti dei miglioramenti nella didattica attraverso l'uso del coding? Eh, per alcuni alunni sicuramente sì, eh, in quanto la, la conoscenza del coding è stato di stimolo eh, per lo studio delle varie discipline e, ed ha aumentato in questi particolarmente l'autostima eh, nel vedere il lavoro svolto in modo corretto. For some students, for sure, they, she, uh, they saw uh, an improvement uh, because uh, the, new, the use of the new technologies was for them uh, something that uh, uh, was a stimulus for them to do better and to uh, see how code could be Uh, used in, in the study of uh, the school disciplines. Um, and uh, what they noticed was, uh, the, I think it's very important, an increase of their own autoesteem, uh, self-esteem. This is very, very important. 
Per altri alunni eh, dove si sono riscontrate appunto le difficoltà logiche e di memorizzazione eh, è stato un po' un problema affrontare il coding in quanto i comandi eh, che eh, questi alunni apprendevano eh, purtroppo spesso venivano dimenticati immediatamente e quindi eh, non, si sono risultati dei, non si sono riscontrati dei risultati positivi. Ok, uh, for some students uh, the results uh, were not uh, positive because uh, they really had problems in uh, memorizing uh, instructions and in uh, uh, understanding what was the final result of the, of the task uh, it was proposed to them. Okay, thank you very much, Maria Teresa. And uh, now if I can continue, uh, I will invite uh, and introduce uh, uh, Christian, Camilla Christian. Okay, ciao, ciao Christian, welcome to the webinar. Christian is, uh, now he's a 17 years old kid. Uh, he, when he, uh, at the time of the classes he was, uh, of coding classes he was 15. Uh, he's a very good kid and he really enjoyed working with, uh, with Scratch. And uh, now I'm asking him a few questions also. He's going to answer in Italian, I'm going to translate for you. Uh, Why is it so important for you to learn how to code? Perché è importante per te imparare a programmare? Perché mi permette di fare il lavoro. Per il problema, perché? Perché mi piace. Mi permette, permette di fare il laboratorio. Il laboratorio di informatica di dell'attività dell'attività con i miei compagni in la conoscenza dell'informatica infor spero mi permette di trovare lavoro in forma nel campo dell'informatica. Okay. He was saying uh, that uh, uh, because uh, doing these activities It enables me to work with, with my classmates in the same lab, okay? Uh, even if I'm doing something different, I can work with them in the labs. And uh, uh, he hopes that in the future, uh, having this uh, uh, knowledge about uh, coding is helping him in the future and find a job related to computer science, okay? Uh, Ascolta, uh, did you use coding in programming apps related to many different subjects? Hai utilizzato il coding per programmare applicazioni in diverse discipline? Sì, in geografia, scienze, chimica e altre, uh, altre materie. E so, posso dire che i professori sono stati molto contenti di tutte le app che ho fatto. Alberto? Sì, 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 He was able to develop projects in different subjects, geography, chemistry, English, math, math and physics. And the teacher was, were very happy to see that uh, he was uh, uh, studying uh, uh, the subjects they were proposing using coding and using Scratch. Okay. Uh, Parla, uh, tell us about the contest you have participated last year. Parla del concorso a cui hai partecipato lo scorso anno. È stato molto interessante. Ho potuto presentare lavori soldi con Scratch durante anno. Siamo arrivati a secondi. Nella gara. No, we, we, uh, last year we uh, participated to a regional contest and uh, Christian had the opportunity to talk about uh, uh, the project he has done with Scratch and he was, uh, we were second, okay? We, so we were re rewarded uh, with a, a, a nice prize, uh, a nice uh, uh, prize. I don't remember the word, I I'm sorry. <laughs> But it, it, was, it was fun, it was, uh, they, they had very, it was not only him on the stage, we, also the other, uh, uh, the other uh, students were on the stage talking about what they've done with the project uh, Scratch for Disability. Uh, 
uh, if, I'm, if I can share you also this, uh, this other presentation, I want to show you very, okay, some of the screenshots of the project made by Christian, so you can see uh, what we're talking. For example, cos'è questo? Il programma di geografia che avevo fatto per la professoressa che spiegava tutta l'Europa, il continente, i fiumi, dopo alla fine direbbe se hai capito e ti, dire, ti farebbe delle domande. Rivers and so on, and at the end there, there is a, a lot of questions, and uh, the program is uh, also uh, counting um, how much uh, uh, points are you making. Okay. L'ho fatto con la divisa per meno e più. E abbiamo fatto questi calcoli che ogni risposta corretta ti dava un punto in più. Okay. And the program is also giving you a grade at the end of the program. Okay, this one. This is a program that I have done in English. It said that every fruit is in English. When you come here, all the fruits are given to the students. But if you write the girls, we have a question in English. And then you see how many points you have. This is an English program. In English. The point of learning English, okay, is about, uh, is asking you questions about the name of the group in English. In the last project, uh, about chemistry, chimica. Abbiamo fatto un altro progetto di chimica che ti diceva enorme sicurezza della chimica. Quando aveva finito di tutto, ti, di, ti faceva la domanda finale se avevi capito tutto e se dicevi giusto ti faceva vedere dei punti. Okay. Uh, when you're going to the lab of chemistry. For example, uh, in this case, Scratch is saying that it's required when you go into the lab to wear the, the right, uh, uh, I don't remember the name, the right suit, okay? Uh, and, uh, because you're going to touch uh, uh, and use, uh, uh, liquids and, and powder, okay? Uh, one last question to Christian. Christian, uh, I know that you have uh, uh, you are very good with computers, but sometimes you have difficulty in writing. È vero, Christian, che sei bravo con il computer, ma hai difficoltà nella scrittura. Sì, è vero che ho molta difficoltà con la scrittura. Grazie a questa app di Scratch mi ha aiutato un po' a capire un po' della programmazione. Okay, he says that uh, he's not very good in writing. He's making a lot of mistakes, but thanks to use of Scratch, he. he you learn better how to how to write okay i think it's all for the moment thank you very much okay can you hear me yes okay thank you thank you maria thank you alberto and thank you uh, christian you give us a very clear uh, explanation unfortunately we have some problem with the audio but uh, I think uh, you give us a great uh, picture of what you have done in your school. Thank you again. So now I take the floor again to uh, 